Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at a Golden Necker Self Wound deck that I put together for 10.10. .10. Now, I was inspired by a comment that I saw on my previous Self Wound video the other day saying that Golden Necker could very well be better in 10.10. .10. And when I'm comparing the two, although I hate to say it, I think that Golden Necker is probably more competitive than the alternative with Melusine and all of that. That one just requires a lot of setup, it doesn't find the cards when it needs to find them, and it plays too hard into Tall Punish, and at least with something like this we can control that so we don't go too tall, okay? And we don't have to rely on all these engines setting up when we need them set up at that given time and, you know, all this nonsense, right? So, let's go through the deck a little bit. Golden Necker is a card that if your starting deck does not have cards with a provision cost of 10 or more, play the top unit, special, and artifact from your deck. In order to make sure that this works at any given time, I make sure to put at least two artifacts in the deck, okay? In this case, we have the Kadoosh, and we have the Vial of Forbidden Knowledge, and I make sure to put two specials minimum, and that's not hard with an archetype like this, because Marjoram's are great, Mahakam Ales are great, okay? These are going to be amazing into the Nilfgaard matchup, because they're going to be trying to lock everything, and there's just a lot of different ways we could set it up. This plays really good, well into the self-poison type deck as well, because then it helps reset the purify order on the Gremist. So there's a lot of reasons to just have good stuff like this. You know, you could go one off here and look for Alchemy of Choice. I don't mind that, but to keep it simple here, it's probably going to get discarded half the time anyways, the other ones. So it's just safe to have a couple of those, I think. So that's what we have there. And for units, we're hoping to pull into one of the playmakers, right? Whether it be Nut the Callus, whether it be Sigvald, whether it be Olgird. I don't mind really anything up here. Siri Nova would be great as well if we play that into some carryover. Again, it's really hard to go wrong with the Golden Necker top deck pulls. Except for when you go and you get Morkfark or Nickers or Roach or, you know... Um, Tursic, you know, all these like things that can get clunky or what you got to be careful for. So this deck really relies on proper sequencing. Otherwise, it just won't work because you have Golden Necker thinning cards out. You've got these that are supposed to be auto thin. You have the Coral discard. You have the Burna discard. You have the Stratagem discard. You have the Darren as well. That's going to be essentially moving a card from deck to grave. It's kind of like a discard. So you can imagine how that gets kind of wild. And then on top of the whole thing, we have Magic Compass. And that's where it gets really difficult. So I'm going to explain at this point in the video, maybe someone put a timestamp. It's really important that we go into round one. We play a gold card to get Roach out quickly. Okay. And then we basically go and try to find Coral if possible to go into our discards. All right. And you know, Berna as well, and try to get out this Morkvark and the Termix, Tersic Skirmishers. So if we can get those out of the way, that's perfect. We hope at this point that we don't draw into Nickers, but if we do, we can still mulligan Nickers back into deck for like a round two and have a later thin, which is fine. Okay? If I don't pull into Morkvark with the discard package, right? Then we can go into the Darren, and we can play that on ranged for the Morkvark specifically. If we've already taken that thin, you can put Darren on the melee row so that at least we get 8 power and we're not trading down and only playing 5 points for 6 provision. Okay? Now, once you've gotten all these thins and your deck's looking proper, make sure that you've comped your deck so that you still have at least one artifact, one special, and one unit in your deck. Otherwise, we brick this, okay? And so then we can go and take Golden Necker, you know, at that point, because it's fine to, assuming that we don't still have Nickers in deck. You, you really just want to wait till it all thins out before you take this. And then we'll have an uninterrupted thin process, okay? Once that's done, we can decide if we want to take Magic Compass. If we're bleeding in round two and we have about six cards in deck, we could afford to take it, right? Because you want to thin down to zero, essentially. But if we're finding that we have way too little cards or, you know, uh, we have way too many good cards in our deck, we might not want to go and do all that 
in round two because we might actually lose some key playmakers. But usually when you thin out properly, you've got pretty much everything you need. A couple junk cards in the deck, you throw them away. You get Compass into round three. You would have spent Golden Necker. You have Siri Carryover sitting on the board. Now we have a few gold cards. We have Siri Nova on the board. We have... Uh, less than three cards in deck, Magic Compass is able to pull into whatever we want from the entire Skellige faction, and that's kind of the idea, right? You can look at um, all the Skellige and take your pick. One thing I've noticed is really good for me is pulling into Canby because we already have eight points on the board. We have six points technically sitting from our leader that we can just use the charges and then have the bear on the board. And, you know, we have a couple golds, I'm sure, left at that point. So if we're able to get in that situation, we already have the advantage coming into the round. We can finish it up and just literally make them dump a card. You know, it feels really good. Or if we have a discard in our hand even that we haven't used yet, it's like really satisfying because we even get points for that. So there's this option. Otherwise, we can go into something like Fakusha, right? Take Fakusha, bring back Coral, bring back whatever we want, make it work, right? Or we can go for Lippy because Lippy's able to bring... You know, if we didn't thin this, it works, right? But otherwise, we we still get these points coming back from Lippy. So Lippy off the bat plays for the 7, 10, right? Plus, if we have, let's say, like a... One of our discard cards in hand or something like that, you could summon back Sigdruff is right with like a coral, and then you can like look for a, a toss off the discard. Like, there's potential that you can even get a second Golden Necker, right? So a lot of cool stuff you could do with it. I would just look at the board state, look at what you're supposed to be doing, figure out your win strategy, and then, you know, pick what's going to help you get there, right? So that's pretty much it. A little bit of understanding with the deck. The Olgird is a tech for Reavers, but it's also a great setup for the Nut Callus because we might not always have the Sigvald, and I want to have alternatives. But if this is the tallest thing we have, then we just win that matchup against Reavers because they can't do a whole lot. The problem is we have to still win a round without it because we can't bring this back from the grave unless we somehow got lucky enough to flip the deck. So be careful with that, right? Um, might be worth spending a little extra early on so we could save that for late game. Series really good for Mardromes, right? Series really good for the Callus because we get a free hit off the shield. Series really good as well for really the quartermasters off the Kadoosh. Like, there's a lot of good stuff there. You have, of course, just Callus dealing tons of damage. I don't have Tall Punish in this because I feel like we get enough Tall Punish from Callus when he's working, right? And we can increase the ceiling of that when we take the Mardrums on the Sigvald as intended. And pretty much it. I went with Bride of the Sea here. You can do what you want to do. So if you want to go with Covenant of Steel, take a Defender, that's cool, okay? You can literally take out Bride of the Sea, put this in, take out a 6, and put in like a 5. And I'd be fine with that. Like, you could take out Darren, put in a 5 of choice, take out one of the 4s, and put in like a, a Heime or something like that, right? You know what I'm talking about? This card. This guy. Right? So, a couple things you could do there. I just wanted to go for Bride of the Sea. I felt like the point ceiling was just really high on this card, you know? And with Defender, everyone's running a Peller anyways, so chances are it wasn't going to stick. So there's that. And uh, yeah, deck feels pretty clean. Multiple Purifies, Discards, we talked about it. Just good trades on the Marjoroms. I have Berserker in here just because it's a value play. Like, right now, this card plays for the 5, plus the 2, well, technically 4, 5, 6, I guess you could say 8 points for 4 provision, right? So, not many cards in the game do better than that. Something I thought about is to put in more rain for Bride of the Sea, because you can put Tears of Siren or something like that in the Bronze End, you can put the half ruse as well in there, and you can make this whole thing work. So that you can get like a another Sigdrifa's right. But I just felt like it was just another project I had to set up that was just going to be a headache. Right? So the deck doesn't really play around rain too much. I think that would be a better strat if we had the other leader ability that supports rain. So if you wanted to do like some sort of hybrid and change it to the Rage of the Sea, completely fine with that. But for right now, this deck's working 
and I just wanted to call the video where it is. I got a few games that I'm happy with the state of it, right? The first couple games are clunky because I was still figuring it out, but it's running pretty smooth. So, you know, I would just keep it the way it is. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you want to share the version of Self Wound that you have, feel free to hop in the Discord and let me see it in the deck sharing tab. And if you guys enjoy the content here, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be back on the video every day thing, hopefully this week. I'm going to have like the most disciplined week I can. And for anybody who wasn't liking the videos with no commentary, I apologize for that. It's just sometimes things come up. I'm top 275 right now. I wanted to climb a little bit this season. Also, sometimes during the day at work, during break, I'm playing games games for videos so it's it's about multitasking getting used to my new life right now and just trying to make everything work at once so don't worry about it I'm not getting lazy it's just sometimes I'd rather do something than nothing and that's kind of what I come up with so again sorry about that if it bothered you but um, that's pretty much it guys for now we'll get into the games and we'll see you very shortly all right so we got vampires coming up here first and I'm gonna try out the basic card back so the opponent thinks we're not very good okay Let's have a look at the discard package here. This could be for like the Morkvarg. We have one. Put this back so we don't brick the Golden Necker, right? I don't think we need Sigdrifa's right already. That's actually really good. Okay. It's like I want to play something, but I don't really want to lose points. So it might just make more sense to play Coral, but not use Coral. And if we get locked, we do have an Ale, so that's probably the move here. I think, like, every point counts, especially on blue coin against vampires, not knowing what type of vampires they are. Yeah, it's uh, to be expected a little bit. And by the way, after this game, guys, I will be switching the stratagem. That's actually a mistake. Just uh, an FYI. Oh, great. Let's not get in the way of my it's one of those things, I guess. We'll put Knickers back in deck. It'll come out later for sure. I like that we have a good amount of bronzes in hand as well because, you know, it's stuff that I wouldn't mind discarding. It's stuff that I wouldn't mind playing, so... Here, we'll go for it here. Compass is good to see. Okay. I guess one of them just has to go, right? Yeah. If I had the Mask of Ouroboros, that would have been really, really good, right? That extra discard can make a difference at the end of the game, and I don't want to put something like Scold in the deck. It just feels kind of slow. Here, we'll go take the Morkvarg out here. Let's move that on over. And honestly, I've kind of had enough, you know? Protect the horse and maybe just look at passing. 40 to 14, though, it's really not that big of a deal, though, if you think about it. Like, the opponent could just put down a flutter or two and call it a day. This kind of looks like what I've been working on, but again, every Renfrey one sort of has the staple three for just getting Roach out, getting Roach itself, and then, you know, the Reg Array has been really common as of late, for sure. I have one Purify. Honestly, we can get a lot of value from these Purifies. Like, if I just keep using Gremist, it makes this matchup a little bit weird. Mind you, they can put as many as they want on Sigvald. I'm going to put this back here, and you really just want to see Golden Necker. Jeez. I don't know if I'm going to really want to play it. Okay. What's the worst that can happen? I can lippy after if I really need to, so it's not the end of the world. The best thing I can do is not draw into this, pull into this, and get this. We'll try. I think that's what you do in a situation like this. Okay. I, get, I guess there's still a chance of... We 
You just take it because it throws it, right? Maybe they have Igni. Let's play something simple then. Okay, so I could take Sigdrifas for the Coral and use the Coral to get something. We'd get the one. That then flip. I'm just trying to figure out how we can do a Lippy and how to make it make the most sense because I think we have potential to play through this quite well. Nah, now we're just done for. They see the vision. You know, at least we have, like, the big plays here, right? Look. And then Dog comes out, it's actually perfect inning. I'm surprised he sat there for so long. Okay, they see... They obviously see that being gross. Okay. Let's just start cleaning up this mess here. <laughs> Any minute now. This is the longest I've seen him in the deck ever. Here, we'll take... Uh... I think it's actually worth doing this first because that can get out of hand right here and if i have to i'll put vitality there he is okay now we're just chilling i think the ogre has to come down now it's just too good to pass up here They find a lock, we're just, we're ready. That's the problem, they literally have to lock two cards. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Here we go. We can just take that and we can put away maybe something like the, maybe actually the ale, because I know they don't have another lock. Because technically this plays for more points. There comes the Renfri. If they have a destroy eight or less type thing, it's going to be awful, but they're probably looking for it. Then again, they want to maximize the points that they have too. No, they're going for it. They're like, okay, when he replays that, it's over. How are we going to do this to make it uh, work? Okay. Eight or less, eh? It's not doomed. Just that's my last way to get him. They saw the vial and they're like, nah. Coming up next, here we got Gorilla Tactics Skoytel. I 
fix the stratagem for this one, but it doesn't really matter because we don't go first, you know? Alright, so the dog stayed in the deck till the end of the game last game. This card and that card. Um, they're going to push this really quick, but if we can get rid of a poison opportunity, that's all the better. I'm glad that I actually have Golden Necker in hand, okay? I played one game I forgot to record. I played last game. We just couldn't get it done, but um, let's see here. Maybe just the one. Yeah, we don't want to go too tall, okay? So GK gets vile here. Top unit? Ew. We gotta be careful. Maybe play a gold card first. There we go. Only the best boys. What are the odds that I pull these? I just gotta be careful because I don't want to go in like Golden Necker into a discard target. But, you know, there's only two of them left. I think it's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be a Burna. Please. Please, good. Now we can go one. I don't know, guys. Like, Berserker? They can't hit a four. It'll flip. Maybe it's one Marjoram in case I'm forced to play the uh, Bride of the Sea, right? We have a little setup here. Can use it offensively as well, but I don't think we will. Got crazy engines on the board, man. Here. Uh, you know... I still got two targets. I think it's going to be Coral. Alright. I think Ale can go. By the way, I don't think it's really going to happen where we win round one. Because they have too much going. We just have a lot of like thinning and stuff like that, so... However, it would be kind of nice if we can get Siri Nova because then they'd have to jump, drop scenario in order to actually get enough points to have more in the eight, right? Okay. Yeah, I think we take him here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, brick! Pick a card to move. We got that one. And sad life with the Seagriff is right, and they're laughing at me, I'm sure of it. But you know what? We didn't play the big hitters yet, so it doesn't really matter to me. Feels bad and sad, but you know. I think it's one of the risks you take when you play a deck like this. Why would you push that over and... Oh. Oh, wait. It's not Igni, because they literally hit it. I think they were trying to set the Igni up. And just fumbled it. Okay, now I know that they have something like that. Let's be careful. This is Harmony. 28 plus 6 plus 1... I really want to purify this. I mean, for what it's worth... For what it's worth, they're going to push something back anyways. starting to think that I'm supposed to start damaging that coral by myself. I am the forest, and the forest is me. Is 
here. I'd lend you a hand, but then I'd have none. But I don't train on the cone. I hate it. You know, probably could have put this here, if I'm being quite honest. That was a little bit of a mistake. However, maybe we just take it for the carryover purpose anyways. Even on this side it would have been nice. I was just more concerned about the coral here. My old name. <laughs> don't remember. I don't care. I guess it doesn't matter. Savage. Two. I think I'm supposed to still go in. If I go down, I'm taking you with me. It's a big round one for sure. They got the Saskia combo, the Zoltan, the Milva, half their deck thinned. Actually, I'm surprised. It's not that much. That's so clean. One, two, three, four, five, six. Compass just works. Except we have garbage in there too. play in a little bit because I do get card back, right? Okay. If I take compass here, I go through all three and play one, I get compass back, I get no draws. I don't really want to put them in a long round either. See if I can play it in a little bit so that they have to put down scenario at least because then I feel a bit better about the rounds. I don't think that they're going to be like waylay spam because they have all this stuff. I think it's more like just scenario at this point. That's a good purify. We take the offensive drip, I think, because this actually plays for about 10 points here. So it's pretty defensive if we just bomb that out, you know? And I think I have room to play Berserker here, and then we just get out of the round. Let's see. That's a lot of points. That's a ton of points, man. Jeez. Okay, I think that's all we do. Yeah. They'll definitely get it here. 
Hopefully they don't thirst the leader. I can feel the pressure. That's what you want. I think we just take it. There we go. They're going to have a pretty big point slam at the end. I don't know. Do we can be 50-50? wonder if it's a can be 50 50. That power played for a ton of points, played for literally 20 points or something like that. Crazy. 12 points. Okay. I draw these three. What do I do about this? Hopefully it's on the right side. Then then my decision's like actually a good one. Damn. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Okay, I think that's what we have to do, honestly. We'll play this, we'll play this, and then we'll can be this. Because what else do you do? And then maybe we discard their big point slam. I go a little tall, but I think that's fine. I have uh, points here, and then off leader as well. Ah, okay, so they've seen this one before. <laughs> Okay. My finger is getting scared. Okay. That's not getting the way of the axe. That was really smooth. We just win by default. And next up here we got Mahakam Forge. I've been seeing some Renfrey Dwarfs going around, so I have my suspicions here. We got the clean card back, freshly imported from Plaguen.com, so you know, might be one of those sweaty games. I have to say, although Compass has the ability of just putting out so many points, I'm starting to not like the card. If you're watching the games, you're realizing like we're throwing away good stuff with this. And in decks like this, you almost have to use it, so it's kind of tricky that way. Sucks that we have to go first. We have Roach in hand, but you know. <sighs> Let's see. Probably. It's probably just Floating Coral. I can do a great deal. Just because I want to maximize, again, these points that we have from the discards. Maybe I just try to take one compass. I keep it simple. I just go for like a round three compass. That's it. You know? Double compass is kind of pushing it, but... Do we even thin out enough to make it work with one compass, though? Everything would have to go perfect, right? We'd have to take Golden Ecker before then, too. We'll see. We chew a little bit through that, but I think we don't care. Here. At least it hurts them too. Good. So with this one here, damage self and then move a card from deck to grave. When this card enters your grave. So it works on this one, but it doesn't work on this one. When this unit's discarded, we're not discarding it. So we'd probably just have to play it for points. I honestly think I'm good to just, like... I don't want to lose round. I think we're going to stack Sigvald up a little bit and kill off a crow. If we need to. Just wouldn't it be so nice if we can um, purify this and then ping it? Wait, wait it's hold up. 19 to 1, okay. Mm. 
Gremis would have played for like 15 points. Well, 11, but you know. Okay. Yeah, like, I enjoy when a Golden Necker deck works. I used to really strongly dislike the playstyle, but now it's like, whatever, okay? But... It's like, um... Clunky. It's really clunky. It's funny because there's two different sides of the spectrum. You play Melusine, Self Wound, and you're not drawing cards fast enough, you're not finding anything. And then you play something like this and you're just finding too much. Okay. Yeah, we kind of knew that was that, didn't we? We did. We gotta be careful here, okay? I think it's, uh, it's probably going to be the best Bride of the Sea that we can get. It's also probably... <laughs> going to be, like... Killed. <laughs> like, right here, 40 point Igni or something. Watch. I called it. Okay. They're probably just waiting. Until I pass, and then they're just gonna use it, right? It's really better to have this now than later. Friggin' Dor Dorvin Skirmisher Swarm. Bloodthirst Squirtel. Please don't have Tall Punish. If they don't have Tall Punish, we just reverse this so hard. Everything's too good to be true. They wouldn't be bleeding if they did, and otherwise they just might think we're dumb and we're spending everything. So, I don't know. We'll see if it's a good read. No. <laughs> I've been playing this game too long, man. I know it. Okay, carry over, Sigvald comes back, Berserker is just kind of nice to have, but there's a lot of armor actually, maybe we dunk him, yeah, better, they try and bleed me, I get the resilience, and Roach comes out, just hope they don't peller. Really? GK is not bricked either. It's going to pull this and this, which is really nice. And we have to get... Okay, I think it's just Siri first. What? Oh, I thought they were going to just quit. I think that's good. Peller just mercs us, but otherwise we're doing pretty well. Hit the uh, shield, please. With the uh, pyro. Okay. I guess we just crank it so that they can't. There, we'll just float that for now. I wish this had resilience, but then it'd probably be too broken. Don't want to spend compass. You don't have to worry about a random haze or something like that. It's rent free, so. I actually don't want like these discards like that. I think I'm going to put Magic Compass in the bin.
take Sigvald back. Okay. What's my best move? Probably just... It really doesn't even matter. If they have Renfrey in hand, I think they have the 2-0 push. I'm not going to let him do it, though. So that's definitely the click. We gotta get this out there just for another target, you know? They get one, and that's fine. Yeah. Seven points of carryover. Couldn't quite keep the whole thing, but I think that's fine. What else we got here? I think that's it. I think um, it might be it might be a lippy here just because we have a lot of points and then I might be able to pull into something even better. So this is kind of the way that I'm going to take this one I think. Oh I'm one short. Darn. <laughs> okay. I guess I still do it. I still go Burna into whatever we need. Yeah. All right. It's just what it is. I hope they have no control. So I'm gonna go and use a couple leader charges here. I think we gotta get this one started here. If they pull a Renfrey kill five or less type thing, it's bad. But they can't play Renfrey here because then they negate this leader. So it's actually kind of funny. Oh, wow. Who expected that? Not me. Okay. Which one should we take? <laughs> there. I think it's just how it has to be. You know... I could just do the can be again. No. I could I could still do the can be again. Go ahead, feel it. Play a bronze from your hand and draw a unit of choice. That's gonna be a good card too. Play a bronze from hand, draw a unit of choice. Show me. After play the ooh. So that's a that's a big swing from them, isn't it? That must be a good card, like I said. They don't get the order on it this way either. Okay, 23 plus the four. You know what? This is how it has to be. Just to say we could. Um, and they know what's going on. They already know. And yes. next up we got Lion Pocket Syndicate. And honestly, man. This is going to be difficult. Because I'm expecting it to be poison. 
and we go pretty tall, right? We do have Gremis to help out quite a bit, but it's hard to say at this point. We'll see. Okay, so two artifacts in hand. I don't think we can play this round all the way in. Oh. Maybe it's just like some weird thing, you know? Maybe it's just like a crime deck and they have this. Because that's eight. It's so expensive to refill it. Four for one armor. can turn that off here and make them real spend. I'm hoping it's just some kind of random deck. Played a lot of poison lately. Against it. No. <laughs> it's poison. Can we chip that armor one time? My hand's so bad. I think I'm going to go and play Vile and take it. Um, how do I want to take this? Do I go tall with it? And just let this keep... You know what? That way if I play in like a decent amount, it's still going. And if they do poison it out, then I kind of... Could hit it with leader or something if I wanted to. I don't know. It just feels a little bit better. Death Expensive here. Shoot. It's crazy. So the big thing for me here is being able to get out of the round before they go and play, I guess, the resilience, right? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Perfect discard here. I was worried about that. For real. Nine, seven, and eight provisions. There's another seven. That's a huge combo to play at this point. Mind you, I took... I took Burna at eight, and this at nine, right? So, 14, nine, and eight. It's no question that they committed more here, so... Couple things I still have to deal with, of course. But, feels much better than it could've. Good. Good, we gotta keep that same energy as them. This'll be for the Mork, then we can play this because we have the other two Thins out of the way. If they poison something out, like this for example, we can bring it back, which is great. I have Marjoram set up. I don't love Marjoram's here, just because obviously we don't want to go super tall. I'll kick one. I miss Siri, so. If I can't get Siri, give me Gremist. Like, I really want either of these options here. We gotta get, uh, if we can get Dog and, uh, I don't even know what animal that is. Wolf? <laughs> I guess, yeah. Man wolf? Okay. If we can get these out of the way, then we're good to go, right? Anything else, this is. Fine, I guess. Here. Good. I'm starting to think the Marjoram's not the way, guys.
they're at the point where they have to decide what they want to do, right? So, if they want to go in for it, then we'll punish them for it, right? Just really need Dog to thin out a deck here. Kind of holding off as long as I can before I take him. I could probably go and play Berserker. We have space. Five. You think they'd want to take the eight just for consistency? And they could play it on melee. Worst case, right? Golden Necker's bricked here, actually. I realize Kadush is kind of in the way. That's going to be a tribute. Ah. Drill. Yeah, okay. What's the book for? I guess they play another crime. Agni's supposed to ban I want this, but they probably have poison anyways. I think it's Sigvald. Makes it weird for them. I have a suspicion that they're double. Okay, I, I think I've seen this one before. Let's just take it that way. Nice, there he is. Good. units six cards maybe I'd just go for it with compass yeah I see I, I knew it was double I'm actually going to take this here because Drill plays for too many points. And then if they kill it, I'll just summon it back and I'll do the same thing. I'd rather pull Golden Necker for two than not at all. I think we can get out of the round still. Getting that drill out of the way. They might not have any crime cards left. Get the one plunder, one stolen, one fist tech. There's probably one of each, right? One more of each. Okay. Yeah, it is what it is here. Okay, 13, 12, moving on into round three. 
I, okay, I think we just play everything we have. Okay. I need units and I need specials. So that's literally the hand, okay? And then... I think I take the Lippy or the Canby. It's probably the Canby again. It seems like a Canby thing, especially because we have more cards. Yeah, we just win the game at that point. There goes a poison, I'm sure, on that. They're like, oh my gosh, they dropped a 10 point whole gear on the board. And then I'll just put this. And then if they do it again, I'll play this. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Yo. We did okay. We did okay. We did okay. He did just fine. That is your brilliant move. I was kind of worried for a minute there. Maybe instead of going tall, that'll just be the card that we discard, you know? Go nice and tall with the Siri, because obviously, you know, it will purify that. That's brilliant. I think we're supposed to put everything into Siri, because I don't think a deck like this runs a tribute kill like I'm a real. I don't think they have room for it, and it's kind of strange to do it. it. I could see it breaking just a lot of different ways, you know? <laughs> That's going to go on the right side. It's going to be their highest provision card. Where is it? I'm getting scared, man. Here. Matt is really shaking things up. You base your on the Coxteen with the Purify is terrifying. But, uh... I only see the one poison anyways. I don't think we're gonna get the heal value, guys. I just wanna make sure their last play removal isn't as crazy. Like, for a poison, at least. They're not feeling too hot about that. They're like, here. We just have it. We just did really well in this game. Defending all that nonsense going around here. Um, just take the straight boost. 